Hey, how's it going all you most amazing top tanners? Welcome back, I'm Landon, and I'm so glad to be back, and you guys make this whole thing great. So this right here is the top 10 best TV shows, and yes, I'm gonna include TV shows on Netflix. So let me ask you guys, what is your favorite TV show? What is your favorite thing to watch on Netflix? So let's get right into this list. Starting in at number 10, we're talking about The Big Bang Theory. This is a show created by Chuck Lorre and Bill Pratty back in 2007. The original network is on CBC and it is still running. It's so funny. Currently there's nine seasons. Big Bang Theory has become one of the funniest sitcoms on TV right now. It's starring Johnny Galecki, Jim Parson, Kaylee Coco, Simon Halberg, and of course we can't forget about Canel Nayar, who I think is personally the funniest person, well, except for Jim Parsons. That guy is just, he's like that in real life, sort of. Okay, so from comedy, let's get serious with drama. And I'm talking about Grey's Anatomy in at number nine. This show has a huge cast with a lot of ups, a lot of down moments, and it started back 2005, and it's still airing new episodes. I can't wait for the next one to come on TV because I'm currently watching it. The current season playing right now is season 12, making it one of the longest drama TV shows still running. Denzel Washington actually helped direct the newest episode that came out on February 11th. The show has a lot of unexpected death. One of the most watched episodes was Derek dying a few seasons ago and hopefully I didn't spoil that for you guys but wait, he passed away a few seasons ago which means if you guys are true fans you wouldn't be behind by two friggin' seasons so get caught up you. But it was a heartbreaking moment and that kept viewers watching for many seasons to come. The X-Files that's been running for about 10 years well now they actually have a reboot this comes into number 8. The X-Files is an American science fiction drama television series created by Chris Carter. It first aired back in 1993 and then the last episode was 2002 on Fox. The series revolves around FBI special agents Fox Mulder and Dana Skelly who's investigating X-Files which is unsolved cases involving paranormal phenomena. So the show takes place in LA but it was filmed in Vancouver. The new season just came out on January 24th of this year and it's not being called season 10. This is a reboot. It's just being called X-Files miniseries. Okay so let's break into number 7. We're talking about Breaking Bad. There might have been like many break-ins, but this show is not known for like jail breaks or something like that. It's mostly revolved around drugs, which makes it so good. I don't know why. So it was created by the one and only Vince Gilligan. He casted Brian Cranston, Anna Gunn, Aaron Paul, Dean Norris, Betsy Brant, and that's just to name a few awesome, awesome people. This is an American crime drama TV series. It told the story of Walter White, the main character who is a struggling high school chemistry teacher diagnosed with an inoperable lung cancer, who together with his former student Jesse Pinkman turned into a life of crime, producing and selling crystallized methamphetamine. And this is to secure his family's financial future. And for Jesse Pinkman, I guess he just wants a crap ton of money. So the show ended in 2013. There was a lot of sad people, including myself, but it was so successful that Vince Gilligan was actually offered $1 million for every new episode that he would create to continue on the series, but he said no to that. Moving right along into number 6 we got Seinfeld. This ran from 1989 to 1999 which was for about 9 seasons. Jerry Seinfeld, Julia Lewis Dreyfus, Michael Richards and Jason Alexander played in all 172 episodes. A quick trivia about the show, did you guys notice that at the beginning of the seasons the numbers of like Jerry's house it would always change, there was no set numbers and it confused a lot of audiences like does this guy keep moving or what's going on here? Well eventually it became permanent and it was 5A. Okay so it's time to run in at number five because there's freaking zombies chasing us right now and I'm talking about The Walking Dead. Let's get out of here. So this is a still ongoing show. It's been running since 2010. I still can't believe that it's been running for six years. I still remember season one. This is a horror drama that keeps people on the edge of their seats because a lot of people on the show can die. It could be anyone. Well, except for Rick, the main, main character. I don't think he's ever gonna get killed off, or is he? I mean, we've already had a lot of big losses. The main character is Rick Grimes, who awakens from a four month long coma to confront a post-apocalyptic world overran by zombies. He reunites with his family and becomes the leader of many, many different groups. He does have a core group, but he keeps meeting other groups as well. Currently, The Walking Dead is on its season six that started in October of last year. And the finale is soon coming up April 3rd. Executive producers are confident that they're gonna have enough material to create a season, you know, 11 or possibly a even season 12. But let's not jump too far ahead of ourselves because Rick might die, which might end the show. So let's just see, but I would love a season 12. Okay, so the next show I'm talking about has many, many characters, which is probably one reason 
are many reasons why I haven't started watching it yet, and I know you guys are gonna be like, Oh my god, Landon, I can't believe you haven't watched this next show. Wait a minute, he hasn't even announced it yet. What are we talking about? Shame. And then number four, you guys probably guessed it because I said a lot of characters, you guys put it together in your heads. I'm talking about Game of Thrones. This is a fantasy drama series created by showrunners David Benoff and D.B. Wise. No, not D.B. Cooper. This is a show from the fantasy novel, the first of which is titled A Game of Thrones. There has been so many deaths on the show, there is too many to count, but there's actually death counters all over the internet. Season four that just passed had over 182 people dying off. I mean, 182 people. I can't even remember like a cast of like just five getting their names right and who their friends are never mind this many people dying I probably watched the show and it was like okay who died like I don't even know the relationship and everyone else was like crying because it was like someone big You know nothing Jon Snow But in this show everyone just seems to be big and there just seems to be more and more deaths because season one only had 58 deaths Okay, so how do we not include friends on this list? And I'm not talking about like your friends, my friends. I'm talking about the TV show, Friends. And this comes in to number three. This show became a pop culture running for 10 seasons and 236 episodes. And they have an all-star cast that we all love. They make us laugh so much. Friends was created by David Crane and Martha Kaufman, which originally aired on NBC from September 22nd, 1994. I know, just a few years ago. And it ran for about 10 years to 2004. The original contracts for the cast members was about $22,500 per episode, but by season three, each of the actors, because they became so big and so popular on their own and in the show, they were paid $75,000 an episode, which is an increase of like three times. And at one point, they became the highest paid actors slash actresses making $1 million per episode. This made Jennifer Aniston and Courtney Cox the highest paid TV actresses of all time. You guys should check that out. Okay, so we've been talking about TV shows, but this is one that's exclusively on Netflix. And I might have spoiled it, but you guys already know who I'm talking about. I'm talking about the show Making a Murderer. And this made its way, maybe, I don't know, in at number two. There's a lot of confusion of this show, but this is an American web television series that first streamed on Netflix on December 18, 2015, also making it one of the most recent TV shows on this list. This is a real life documentary of the life of Stephen Avery, who is from Manitowoc County in Wisconsin. He served 18 years in prison for the sexual assault and attempted murder of Penny Bernstein, but he was exonerated 2003 from any wrongdoing. This happened when new DNA evidence came forth, and also with their more advanced technologies, investigators found out Stephen Avery was the wrong guy. After two years of being released, he was sent back to prison for life with his nephew for the murder of Teresa Hellbeck. And it kind of looks like he was set up again from the original people that had him convicted falsely for 18 years. So now moving into today, he's been away for 28 years, potentially innocent from like murder, from rape. These are the worst convictions and he hasn't even done it. Well, the first crime for sure it's confirmed he hasn't done it. The second crime in which he's in prison for life for, we still don't know. And on that note, we're hoping for a new season to come out because we need answers. Okay, so we're in at number one. This is the TV show that outbeat every other TV show, but let's quickly recap what we've had so far. We've had Breaking Bad, Game of Thrones, Grey's Anatomy, The Walking Dead, and now it's pretty much the show that started it all. How do we not include this into this list? I love Lucy. Am I, like, isn't this the greatest show ever? It was so funny. This show ran from 1951 to 1957. This has been one of the funniest TV shows in history starring Lucia Ball. At this time, it was the most viewed TV show in history. The show broke a lot of barriers. Back in the 50s, you were not allowed to be pregnant in a TV show, but they made an episode called Having a Baby. This stirred up a lot of controversy saying that why is this woman pregnant on TV but this broke the barrier, carved the way for future TV shows. And also, this is one of the few TV shows that started in black and white and turned to color when technology came out. Well, there you guys have it. That was the top 10 best TV shows on TV slash Netflix because we had Making a Murder on this list. How can you not include them? Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. So hopefully you guys enjoyed these videos. If you guys liked them, hit that like button. If you guys didn't like it, no worries. Not every video is for you guys. But hopefully we can make a video that you guys like. Let me know in the comment section below what top 10s you want to see next. And just beside me is two more top 10 videos for you guys to continue binge watching on. Or you guys can go continue watching your TV shows that you guys all like. Thanks for watching. I'm Landon, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.